What's good, YouTube family? Welcome back to my channel, Mr. Guy here. If you haven't already subscribed, definitely make sure you subscribe. Today, <laughs> literally, drum roll, the long awaited story time of the first time that I got jumped in high school. Psych! I actually didn't get jumped, but it is a spicy ass story, so stay tuned. So, okay, I have to give you guys the backstory before the actual altercation or incident actually happened okay a lot literally transpired right so this was when i was in high school i was a sophomore right this is my sophomore year um it's funny because i was cool with all the gangsters in school like all the little gang members right like i was cool with everybody right and, and we ran the school to be honest we ran the school right one day after school that there was uh two guys that actually asked me and my at the time best friend let's call her let's call her ashley right two guys asked me and ashley to go smoke with them i used to smoke when i was in high school i do not smoke anymore but i used to smoke when i was high school heavy so they asked us to smoke with them after school by the hood right so we linked up we went home, we took the train together after school, whatever, we smoked, and then me and Ashley actually left. After that, the following days in school, it was about, I wanna say it was like about four days, right? And now rumors start popping up that me and Ashley had done something very inappropriate with these two gentlemen, right? And we're like, what? Hell no, that's crazy. And at the time, I was actually dating someone in my high school. Um, who was a junior so it was just super it was just super funny and he actually knew to god they was actually like cool or whatever so i tell my bro right i tell my bro i was like yo bro they took in shit right they spreading rumors they putting lies on my name whatever whatever so my bro was like oh that's a dub so my bro is also cool with these two individuals so he goes up to them and he's like yo bro like what was this that i'm hearing like what's going on whatever you know basically pressing him about the rumor so he's basically asking him like yo did you start this rumor right the guy one of the guys basically said he was like no i never even heard that like that's crazy whatever the case may be right later on that day somebody else actually approached us and told us that they heard that same exact rumor from his mouth directly so after school my bro told him like yo it's on site we gonna fight, like, we gonna shoot the 1D, cause you over here, not only did you just lie on my sis, but you just lied to my face, so that's a dub. What had happened, right, after school that day, uh, my bro basically punched this kid, right, he punched this kid, and my ex-boyfriend, he didn't know what was going on, so he just ran down and he punched him too. So now, According to the guy, he got jumped, right? So in that exact moment, he was like, nah, um, we gonna fight, like, I don't care, I'm fighting both of y'all. So we ended up going to like, uh, where we used to hang out at, and they basically just, they basically just fought it out, right? They fought, and so they got tired, clearly, and then that ended. The following day in school, so basically me and my friend Ashley decided to experiment with some drugs in school, right? And we ended up taking the e-pill, okay? listen when i was in high school i was wild okay so we're just gonna leave it at that at first me and her had took one right we, we basically cut it in half and she took half i took half right 30 minutes to an hour later we were like bro this didn't do anything i don't feel anything let's take another half so basically by the end of by fourth period fifth period we both had taken one full e-pill okay so now we split up after lunch she goes to her class i go to my class i'm over here in my math class singing return of the mag by french montana mad loud with my headphones in not even paying attention so y'all knew i was a little loopy you know i was i was feeling it at this point right so i was feeling good i'm chilling whatever you know just vibing out i was basically having a good trip the end of the school day comes right and me and my friend is tripping right we're tripping out we're lit it's is up and we're outside of the school so it's me ashley my boyfriend at the time and then my bros right so it's all of us and we actually start heading to to the hood where we used to hang out uh, after school if you guys are from new york i went to school on 7th avenue right and we used to chill on 9th and 10th so we was walking from 7th to 10th or 7th to 9th basically 
and about a full block in right like almost like to the corner of eighth right we noticed that half the school is following us and we're like damn everybody's going to the hood today that's crazy i wonder what's going on i'm gonna find out we stop right and then there's these girls who honestly you know and god bless them wherever they are today in life but they for real look like full ass football players okay and if y'all think that i'm little now i want y'all to understand i was so much tinier in high school okay but these women look like full-on football players like they was really and these was the girls that was really beating females asses in school lunch period third period second period bathroom you already know when someone says pull up to the bathroom you know what that means right they was the ones beating the shit out of these people right so i'm over here tripping literally tripping mad loopy like woo, right and my friend ashley over here starts crying <laughs> now guys i looked at her like sis if you don't if you don't fix up right now stop crying like you making us look crazy i was like sis chill out like just uh, no so one girl steps up to Ashley and says she has a problem with her because of something in class. She threw a paper at her or some corny ass shit, whatever. So I intervene and I'm like, sis, I'm like, did you do that? Shorty didn't throw a paper. So what are you mad about? Like, what, what's going on? You like, what happened? Right. At this point, I see how they ganging up on us. And I'm like, yo, y'all not about to jump us. Y'all want to fight? We could fight one on, but y'all not about to jump us. That's not what's about to happen. Cause you're like, that as a whole, like probably 250 pounds sis and i'm not and we not doing this right so off rip i'm gonna keep it a thousand with y'all i knew that if i fought these women i was gonna lose i knew that i was gonna get my ass beat but i got heart so i didn't give a shit. i didn't i didn't care i didn't care i was about to pull up and show out like i didn't care i was like i'm gonna fight i don't care i know i'm gonna get my ass beat but i'm gonna fight whatever it is what it is the biggest one <laughs> the biggest one steps to me she started talking crazy she put her hands in my face and i'm like yo get your hands on my face like you're bugging like i don't know who you thought you was and then my bro starts seeing me get amped up and he know that i'm lit so he starts seeing me get amped up so he comes and he steps in between us and he's like whoa nobody's fighting my sis that's a dub y'all want to fight y'all gonna have to fight me and now my bros at the time they was very adamant about letting everybody know that they hands is bisexual right so yeah, take that how y'all want, right? But so he was getting in between us, and then all my bros kept pulling me back. They did not want to let me fight. They didn't like they didn't want nothing to happen, whatever the case may be. So it ended up coming out that that whole situation was happening because the boy had said that he got jumped. When really he just got punched two, by two different people. He didn't get jumped, he just got punched by two different people. So they was basically coming to jump us because the the boys basically cried to them, telling them like what happened when they initially announced like or like made it public like of like why they was trying to fight us or whatever the case may be because i was mad confused i'm like why are you trying to f like i was at first i was like why are you trying to fight me but then at the end of the day i was like bro you, you put your hands in my face like you getting crazy like i really don't care why you want to fight me like let's get it so when they finally said that it was because it was because apparently me and ashley were lying about not doing something with these two boys right which we weren't lying we didn't do anything we literally smoked and left they were trying to call us liars at the end of the day right that was basically the whole gist of the story so they wanted to fight us because of that honestly it was literally like just super super weird but whatever right so that whole situation ended up happening the big homie ends up pulling up right he comes from you feel me the projects from where we used to chill at the block we used to chill at he pulls up and he starts like intervening like trying to like you know ask everybody like what's going on like why y'all trying to fight them like what they did to y'all like what's going on what's going on whatever whatever so everyone's kind of like speaking their peace and stuff like that and then at that point he had looked at me and and ashley and asked us like did y'all do this and we said absolutely not like the, first of all i got a boyfriend at the time so i'm like are you dumb like i'm good i have my whole ass boyfriend like who i really cared about at the time you know what i'm saying so i'm like like you're bugging um he basically didn't believe us which literally broke our hearts because this was literally someone that we like loved trusted and literally would do anything for in this world everyone ended up like breaking up because the cops came and they started like telling everybody go home go home whatever the case may be so we left the next day we come to school right so me and ashley like i told her like sis you gonna have to fix up right you put your sweats on put your t-shirt on bring your bummiest kicks put your hair up in a bun and pull up right pull up because they still gonna want to fight so you feel me we're gonna be ready when they come 
So we pulled up to school the next day, sweats, t-shirts, buns, right? They kind of wasn't worried about us. They, they was just like, whatever. They kept like eyeing us and, and shit, but like they wasn't really like pressing nothing. So we ended up leaving school a period early to go meet them in the hood. We went to the park basically. And then again, the whole school's like walking past the park and it's them. And they ended up just looking in the park and they just looked at us um, and they kept walking. So like, it was kind of like, it was kind of like, all right, whatever. So we ended up not fighting at all. More than anything, because my bros intervened the situation. Because if not, I would have got my ass beat, but I would have fought, to be honest. I would have fought. I would have got my ass beat for sure, though. We already know, because they was, they looked like, they, they was aki as shit. And it's so funny because a couple months later, those same girls had came and sat with me and my friend at lunch and was like, yo, we found out that they was lying. We're so sorry. And they apologized for the whole situation. And it was just funny. We're like, yo, we don't care. Like, to be honest, like, it, it really is irrelevant. But the whole thing, like, the whole reason that the whole situation got blown out of proportion on top of, on top of, like, the lies was the fact that me and Ashley were literally on E. Like, we were literally lit as shit. And it just amplified the whole mood. So I'm over here, like, like, with, uh, you for me? Like about to be on set like do it like it's my baby. <laughs> Literally about to go crazy. But that was pretty much the story. Um it was so funny because that literally lasted for about like a week. Like that whole situation lasted for about a week. Um and it was just so crazy. The the guys who actually started the rumor then actually ended up apologizing um years later about the situation i was like bro i don't care like niggas knew he was lying so like it is what it is like whatever um and that was pretty much that hey yeah, guys i hope you guys enjoyed this story time honestly i have a couple more stories to tell you guys because literally i've i've been through a lot i've done a lot and i've had a very very fun life um and i can't wait to share these experiences with you guys because these stories are literally priceless literally priceless so definitely if you have not subscribed as of yet make sure to subscribe leave a like and a comment let me know exactly what you guys want to see more about i appreciate you guys for tapping in and i'm gonna see you guys at the top because y'all already know the bottom is no place for me